Now, the police has condemned the use of private security by the MPP during its manifesto launch in Accra. Director General of Police Operations, COP Christian Tete Nyounu, described the developments as a breach of trust. But Member of Parliament for Ayawaso West Wogon, Emmanuel Boatier Jacon, insists the use of private security claiming the police has failed to prosecute their mandate. The Ghana Police Service and the Interior Ministry issued a directive disbanding political vigilante groups following increased political violence largely attributed to such groups. The ban is intended to promote sanity before, during and after the December 7 general elections. A memorandum of understanding was signed between the Ghana Police Service and all the political parties at a meeting in Ada earlier this year. However, there was a high number of private security operatives at the New Patriotic Party's manifesto launch at the Accra International Trade Fair Center on Sunday, October 9. The group virtually took over every security duty. A member of parliament for Ayawasu West Wokon, Emmanuel Boachie Jaku, disagreed with suggestions the party's action was a violation of the police and the sector ministry's directive. We must have our own internal arrangements. I don't see what the problem is at all in this matter. Let me state that if the state security apparatus does their work well, there will be no need for private security. The Director General of Police Operations, COP Christian Tete, said the police administration is awaiting the operational report to inform the appropriate action. I feel that uh, we have come of age and everybody has to comply with all that they have signed to denounce activities of vigilantes and all those type of things. So if at this stage people still maintain to their order and that they don't want to go according to the rules of the game, I think then the, the police administration uh, will be compelled to take an extra appropriate action by review whatever happened. 